Hi folks, the Desert Artist here. I'm here in my hometown. Uh, I've come across some, some items here that are kind of striking me in a bad way. Um, you see the spillway behind me that's spilling over all that water? Well, that's not the only water that's going down. There's more water. There's more water right down there that's going down. Now, this water was really, really flowing the other day. It's still flowing pretty high. Now, that water over there, well, that's flowing over, the, over pretty good as well. Now, the problem that Conconelli faces is this is the lower reservoir right here behind me and it has rising silt levels now i know it doesn't seem like a problem and they won't dredge it because well it's a dnr just ain't going to do it so the problem that faces is this lake has to have so many acre feet per water acre foot water depth i don't know what they call it anyway over there is a state park now as it is when the water level gets to where it is now they have uh, they have some flooding issues in the state park. Now, because of the rising silt levels and because of the water requirement, over there on the other part here, these all these cabins here. Now those are all on land that is leased from the DNR. Now what I heard is that uh, it's about three thousand to thirty-five hundred dollars a year. To lease that land from the DNR. I propose that this dam has been here for I don't know how long, too long, be removed and replaced down this valley here. Now the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> there's nothing down here for one except for a quote-unquote wildlife refuge which will still continue on. Um, if they need a certain amount of acre feet per water, um, why not extend the lake, put in a hydroelectric power plant down there to utilize this wasted water. All this water is going to waste. Granted, it's going down and for salmon habitat, and there ain't no other fish ladder but that spillway there, and uh, that's, that's, that's pretty big. Um, I propose that they put in a real fish ladder and uh, a hydroelectric power plant, because all this wasted water is once again going to waste i don't like waste i like to use my waste it's the only way to make money now if the dnr does this put in a hydroelectric power plant and sell the power that they make to the town of conconelli as opposed to us buying it from uh let's say uh, grand coulee dam um we would granted granted i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you the truth the water doesn't flow like this year round. It flows like this maybe six months out of the six months out of the year. But if that over there were to be removed and actually put in a fish ladder and hold back more water, and that were to be used there to also use more water, not only could they extend the amount of acre feet per water. They wouldn't have to charge these people an arm and a leg just to lease the land on this edge of the lake. Now, leasing the property on that edge of the lake is, gets pretty expensive. And I'm thinking because uh, there's a lot of those a lot of those cabins for sale out there. Uh, I think that's the answer to the problem is to build another dam down here further. There's nothing but mountains right here. Mountains. And if they could build another dam, keep the lake the same height, they would not only increase the amount of uh, acre foot per water, thereby satisfy the needs of the farmers that are downstream, but they would uh, they would also uh, be able to maybe even lower the lake level a little bit. Although well, they probably don't want to do that because they they they're, they're not going to dredge it because they don't want to dredge it because uh, there's too many too much of a quote unquote environmental impact and. If they don't want to dredge it and the silt level keeps rising, they're going to have to raise the, the level of the lake, which will close that RV park, all of those cabins. Conkanagan, which is like a little city that's right around the edge of that mountain right there, that uh, all those people who pay the same sort of taxes 
will lose their property, their cabins, everything. DNR, just, you know how the government is. They'll just say, oh well, too bad, so sad. We're doing it because the, the farmers down south need more water. Anyhow, that's my proposal. I don't know whether anybody will listen, whether anybody will care, but uh, it's my hometown and it's my job to do something about it. And I'm attempting to do something about it right now. And uh, I hope you all uh, hang in there and stay tuned. I've got uh, some more stuff up here, but this is one of my main concerns is these people losing all these homes out here on the edge of the lake. Now, this is where all the water comes down, other than the spillway. Comes down right here, you can, if you listen, you can hear it sloshing down that big tunnel right there and being wasted. Well, it's not really being wasted, but it could be put to more utilization than it already is. Anyhow, I'm on my way back down to Arizona, and uh, that's my video. Thank you. You have a great day.